Hi guys, this is a new Blender video about programming add-ons with Python using the free add-on code autocomplete by Jacques Luke. The add-on provides code intelligence for the Blender API, but it also comes with a kind of add-on development environment. So let's open the text editor, use line numbers, syntax highlighting and word wrap, and with the add-on installed you can see the panel autocomplete. Press this small button here with the green arrow to regenerate the BPY module that is needed for code autocompletion. Then press the start button to actually start the autocomplete feature for code. Ok, now let me demonstrate how to create an add-on using the add-on development. So I define a name for my new add-on. And the type I set to multi-file, which is recommended. This option gives you the possibility to create a folder structure and multiple files for your add-on. The start file is the init.py in the add-on's root folder. All the registration code is added for you there, so you can start directly with the development of your add-on. First I create a new folder, a new directory for the UI parts, for example panels, and I will call it UI. Then I create another one for the operators. Inside the operators folder I add a new file and call it my operator. And when I type in code now, like import, the autocomplete box of the add-on pops up and gives me some suggestions. To create the operator is also very simple. I press Ctrl and space and select operator normal from the menu. Then I define a name and press OK. And here we go, here's my new operator. After that I create a new file inside the UI folder. This will be a panel to add a button that will execute the operator. Again Ctrl and Space, choose Panel and here it is. In the layout I add my operator with the corresponding ID. Ok, now I can click the button Run Add-on, the add-on is executed and the panel is added with the button for the operator. Now let's add some very simple code so that we can see that the operator is really executed. Here in the execute method I get the active object and scale it up two times for all axes. Then I run the add-on again, press my button and this works. You can also zip your add-on by clicking export as zip for example, if you are going to deploy it. You can download the add-on here from Jux GitHub, link is added in the description below. Or if you want to support the developer, you can buy it from the Blender Market. I also added the link in the description. So guys, to sum it up, I can highly recommend this add-on for Blender add-on development. Thanks for watching this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like it 
and I hope you come back soon to JNM.